Not everybody is happy about the prospect of matches being shortened at the sporting extravaganza. The International Tennis Federation ITF, has confirmed that a series of changes will take place at next year's Olympic Games for the first time in its history. In a statement released on Wednesday, the governing body has confirmed that the men's final will be best of three sets. Bringing the format in line with the other rounds in the tournament. During every Olympic Games since 1988, the best of five format has been used for the gold medal match. In 2016 Andy Murray prevailed over Juan Martin Del Potro 7 5 4 6 6 2 7 5 to become the first player in history to win and defend an Olympic title. Another change has also been implemented to all doubles matches. There will no longer be a deciding set to play. Instead, it will be replaced by a 10-point tiebreaker. This method has already been applied to the mixed doubles in the past. These amendments reduce concerns of overplay for players who reach the latter stages of all three events, singles, doubles and mixed doubles. The ITF said in a statement. Next year's Olympic tennis event will take place at the Ariake Tennis Park on hard courts. There has been fears about the potential heat players will face following a record-breaking heatwave Japan experience during the summer last year. One study published last month concluded that the women's Olympic champion will be the most at risk of sunburn next year. The 2020 tournament will take place between the 25th of July to the 2nd of August. Fans not happy in the light of the announcement, the ITF has come under criticism on social media. Many voicing their anger at the decision to shorten matches at the event, which takes place every four years. Tennis was reintroduced into the Olympics back in 1988 after a 64-year absence. The sport has been included in every edition since then. Way to fuck up. RIP Tennis, 007 Noel Full Moon Crocodile I misconduct myself verbally, at Jokersa, the 3rd of April 2019 Why not just toss a coin to see who wins flushed face face with rolling eyes, Eggy, at the Boiled Egg, the 3rd of April 2019 What are you doing towards the sport, we love? First the Ed Davis Cup Reformation and now this. With those both three rules you take away from the events as they feel like every other tournament, now apart from the GS, Doris, at Doris La Rubia, the 3rd of April 2019 Terrible. Terrible, 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 was coming to Tokyo just for tennis. Honestly, this really ruins it. Best to 10 tie break is basically luck of the draw. And for the one big men's match to reduce it from best of five reduced the elightness of the medal. I hope, DG, at best of five forever, the 3rd of April 2019 with the Olympics format changes, I can't help but think if tennis wants to speed up matches, do it by fixing existing issues and not changing the format. I would, have first matches of the day start at same time, no MTOs mid-set unless issue can be resolved in changeover, Paul Timmons, at Paul, underscore tennis, the 3rd of April 2019. The Adidas underscore tennis with the new Olympic changes. Picked at twitter.com slash wg42 9, football tennis, at football tennis, the 3rd of April 2019. The world number 5 spoke about his intentions regarding the four-year sporting event on Monday. Dominic team photo by Chrysler Kayo, copyright at Sport Vision, Austria's chances of winning a medal in tennis at next year's Olympic Games has been dealt a huge blow after Dominic team confirmed that he will not be participating in the event. Team, who is the only player from his country to have a top 100 ranking in singles, has instead signed a deal to play at the Kitzbühel Open over the next two years. In 2020 the ATP 250 event will take place during the same time as the Olympics, which the 25-year-old is yet to participate in. The 2020 Games will be hosted in Japan with the tennis tournament taking place on the hard course at the Ariake Tennis Park. Tokyo is a beautiful city, but I would rather spend a full week in Kitzbühel. That decision was not particularly difficult, Thiem said during a press conference on Monday. Despite opting to skip the event once again, Theme has indicated that he hopes to feature in the 2024 edition of the Games when they will be hosted in Paris, France.
In that edition the tournament will be held at Roland Garros, where the Austrian reached his maiden Grand Slam final in 2018. Of course, it's a bit of a glimpse into the future, because the Olympic Games are in Paris in 2024. I'll play them in any case, he said. Theme's decision to miss Tokyo comes as no surprise. He once said that the Olympics Games was swimming and athletics, stating that his ultimate dream as a player is Wimbledon. Nevertheless, many of the top players have played in the Olympics before, including Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray and Roger Federer. Murray is the only player in history to win two consecutive gold medals in singles competition. For me, the Olympics is athletics, swimming, for me as a tennis player it's a dream to be here in Wimbledon, to play well there. Of course it would be nice to be at the Olympics once, but I do not dream of it every day. Theme said in 2015. Next year's Olympic Games will get underway on July 24. More than 11,000 athletes are expected to take part in 339 events across 33 different sports. The tennis competitions will take place during the first week of the Games. The former world number one has given an honest assessment about his chances on the clay. Roger Federer at the 2019 Australian Open photo Roberto Delalevo. After winning the Miami Masters, usually players embark upon the clay season high in confidence. However, Roger Federer finds himself in a completely different scenario. Later this year the 20-time Grand Slam champion is set to play his first competitive match on the surface after almost three years. Missing recent tournaments on the clay due to either injury or deciding to rest his body. The venue of his return will be the Caja Magica, which is where the Madrid Masters take place in May. At the age of 37, Federer does have an advantage with his experience. Although you can't put a price on playing matches. I'm not very confident going into this clay court season, I can tell you that, because I don't even remember how to slide anymore. I'm taking baby steps at this point, Federer explained on Sunday. To be honest, I didn't play one point, not one shot on clay, I don't believe last year. Two years ago, I played two days. Three years ago, I played not feeling great in Monaco and Rome and all that. So it's been a little bit I really don't know what to expect. A former French Open champion back in 2009, Federer has accumulated a total of 11 titles on the clay so far in his career. The most recent of those occurring at the 2015 Istanbul Open in Turkey. Whilst regarded as one of the best players in history, his achievements on the European dirt has been overshadowed by King of Clay, Rafael Nadal, an 11-time French Open champion. Ironically, Federer's highly anticipated return to the surface is just part of his master plan for his beloved grass court season. The world number 4 is hoping that it will set him up well for a shot of claiming another Wimbledon trophy. As for Roland Garros, the priority is more about enjoyment than anything else. I think what this win, in Miami, does for me, it just takes even more pressure off from the clay court season. He explained, I wanted to play the clay in not a relaxed fashion, but let's just go and do it and prepare well. That's what I'm looking at now the next four or five weeks with my fitness coach and coaches Ivan and Severin and Pierre figuring out how we are going to go about it. Weighing in on Federer's return, former player Gregor Sedsky downplayed his chances of success prior to the grass court swing. The ex-world number four once played Federer on the clay back in 2005 at the Monte Carlo Masters, losing 6-3, 6-1. He's looking for matches before Wimbledon. He doesn't really think he's going to win the French Open, let's be honest, Rusedski told Amazon Prime. He thinks that's either Rafa or Novak or the other guys who are going to win Paris. Federer's comeback at the Madrid Open will take place during the second week of May. Despite admitting that she is unsure if she is ready, the 26-year-old is hoping to stage a winning comeback this week. This year's Volvo Car Open in Charleston marks the return of a familiar face to the WTA Tour. 
Shelby Rogers last played a competitive match at the 2018 BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells, where she lost in the first round. Since then, the American player has been sidelined from the tour due to a troublesome left knee injury that required surgery. The first significant injury of her career to date. I just missed it so much, the 26-year-old told The Post and Courier about her comeback. I was going crazy sitting inside and laying around, so I had to get on the court just to remember what it was like. Rogers has been ranked as high as 48th in the world. She is best known for her surprise run to the quarterfinals of the French Open. In that tournament, she scored wins over Karolina Pliskova, Petra Kvitova and Irina Camelia Begu. Rogers has also reached the final of two WTA events on the clay in Austria and Brazil. At time of her knee problems, the American was ranked 78th in the world. I talked to other players and people who have had been injured, but there's nothing to prepare you for what you go through. During her injury break, Rogers embarked upon other activities such as working as an announcer for the Tennis Channel and doing an online course with the Indiana University East. Although it wasn't easy dealing with the shortcoming in money during her hiatus from the sport, Rogers has made just over $2 million in prize money throughout her career. Putting her 222nd on the all-time list for the most prize money won by a female player as of April 1, 2019. That's a part that I think could be improved with the tour, Rogers commented about financial support for injured players. It's something I never had to deal with before, and something I didn't really understand until this happened. You take a year away from a job, and anybody would struggle with that. It was a big learning process and I tried to keep myself busy and try some new things to see different sides of the tour and the game, and that was fun. This week will be the first test of Roger's current fitness in Charleston. Her first round opponent will be Russian world number 68 of Genya Radina. Redina has endured a sluggish start to 2019 after winning only 2 out of 11 matches played. It will be the first time the two have played each other since 2010, when the Russian won in three sets at an ITF $50,000 event in Dothan, America. I still don't know if I'm ready, Rogers admits, but I was always ready for the comeback. That's what kept me motivated, to come back and play the sport I love again. If you don't have that purpose, it'd be very difficult to do that four hours a day of physical therapy and work through that pain. Rogers will play her first round match on Monday in what will be her ninth appearance at the tournament. This year's Volvo Caro Open will feature three top 10 players in the draw. Sloane Stevens is the top seed, followed by defending champion Kiki Burdens and Arena Sabalenka. All eight seeded players has received a bye in the first round.